hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching today i will be making some kirkland valentine dupes starting with this beautiful floral heart home canvas art this is on sale for 55.24 and i will be making mine under four dollars using some dollar tree items like this large decor sign which is new to the dollar tree look how beautiful this is i love 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 these new items are coming out at the dollar tree i am also using this pink vinyl and this wooden heart going to start by painting the wooden heart using this folk art in the color seashell pink now my heart i'm going to just paint it pink i know that the one at kirkland has flowers but i decided to just do mine plain you can add floor to this by just adding some paper from either Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever other craft store. For the letters, I used my Cricut to cut out the H, the M, and the E, which I should have done them a little bit bigger or wider actually so it can fit the entire sign. And this is how it looks once I added the H, the M, and the E in the heart. Now I'm going to just cut the end off where the little holes are at to make this even. And this is how it looks after I cut the end. I did have to sand the edges so it looks like the other side. But that is it. Look how beautiful this home sign turned out. For my next dupe, I will be making this red and pink heart frame canvas art, which is $76.49. And mine isn't going to be exactly a dupe, but it is going to look similar because I didn't find the solid hearts at the Dollar Tree. I only found these ornament ones that had the love sign, but I think it still went perfect with this. And I'm using this Dollar Tree sign. I did try to remove the image that was in the front, but I wasn't able, so instead I used a white cardstock that I already had, but you can use some white vinyl on top of this. I was going to actually use the Dollar Tree white vinyl, but since it is very thin, since it's very thin, the letters do uh, peek through, or the letters do transfer, or you can see the letters, there you go. To glue the paper, I will be using the Elmer's glue stick. This pack has 15 ornaments, so I'm going to use all of them. I'm doing a pink, the neutral, and then the red, and I'm going to go along the line. And at the end, I will be using some Dollar Tree transfer stickers to add XO, since these little hearts already have the love word on the Kirklands. It had the hearts are plain and with a little love sign, but I'm doing mine a little bit different. But yeah, it looks almost the same.
I didn't know what to add, so I am going to add the X and the O. Now, as I'm doing the, I didn't know what to add, so I did that. I didn't know what to add at the end. I thought of adding love, but since the heart already had love, I'm just doing X, O. But now that I'm doing my voiceover, I should have just added initials instead. But I still think this turned out beautiful. My next project is this I Love You script hanging canvas art print, which is $38.24 on sale. I am going to make mine under like $3 because the paint stir sticks I already had. This um, piece of cardboard comes from a Dollar Tree calendar and this paper comes from Hobby Lobby and I did get it on sale when it was $0.25. Cents. So actually, yeah, maybe like $2. But anyways, I'm going to start by gluing this love paper on the cardboard. Now, mine says love. It doesn't say I love you, but it is kind of similar. And then the paint stir sticks, like I said, I already had them. So they are, were already painted. I painted it using the Waverly Antique Wax with a little bit of black paint. So it made it look darker. I'm going to glue the paint stir sticks, one at the top, one at the bottom. Now you can do holes to add the hanger. I chose to add the hanger on the back instead. I added a small little red heart on the side to finish this. And that is it. Look how beautiful this turned out. For my next project, I will be doing this Red Heart Love art print, which is $46.74 on sale. Now, mine is going to be a little bit under $7. I am reusing this little tray that I made a few months ago using some of the Dollar Tree sticks. The ones I used on the tray were 18 inches long. Now the ones I'm showing you here are, I'm not sure if 10 inches or 12 inches, but I did have to cut the tray because I felt like the sign was too big. This is already secure in the back, but I just added an extra piece of paint stir stick on the back. Now I'm going to paint the entire sign using some white chalk paint. Some of you do ask me what do I do with the things I make and sometimes I reuse them like for instance this tray. I'm using the reversible stencil so I'm using some of these stickers. These are like I'm not gonna say the biggest ones I had because I do have bigger stickers but I didn't have all the letters, so these are the stickers I had the most letters of. Now, as you can see here, I didn't have an L, but I am going to make an L out of this E. And for the heart, I used the Dollar Tree vinyl to make the heart.
Now that I have the letters down, I am going to paint over it using this Apple Barrel acrylic paint in the color Red Flag. I did actually have to go over it twice, or like two coats, I'm sorry. Once this was dried, I used my little Cricut tool to remove the letters. Now, it did bleed a lot, but I did fix that using a smaller paintbrush and some white paint. And I know you guys see the love word more towards the top. I actually did that on purpose because I am going to add some stuff at the bottom of this sign. The only reason I did this was because I didn't have bigger letters to go all over the sign. And I could have used my Cricut, but I decided not to. Now for the hanger, I'm using this piece of white string. And for the bottom, like I said, I am adding something, which is this beautiful lace ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree. And that is it for this beautiful love sign. For my next project, I will be making this round grade wood love tray. Now mine, once again, it is going to be a little bit different. From Dollar Tree, I'm using one of these wood circles. I'm actually reusing this. I did make the tear tray with this one. So when I tried to remove the stick, as you can see, it was very glued in there. So I did have to pull it. And it finally came off and it took some of the wood off with it. So to cover that up, I made a heart using the Dollar Tree vinyl and I glued it on top of that. Then I used this love sticker that I got from the Dollar Tree and put it on top. And that is it for this tray, which was so easy and quick to do. And I absolutely love how this turned out. And that is it for these quick and easy Dollar Tree Kirkland Valentine dupes. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.